What's up, gang? How you guys doing? It is Lieutenant Sound Blue, 28 year law enforcement veteran and the author of the top 25 mistakes en route to the good life, coming at you once again with my daily podcast. That's right, man. I'm excited. Um, and you should be too, guys, because guess what? Um, today, today's episode, man, is about changing your life, right? We're coming up on the New Year's, man. We're coming up on the New Year's, and you guys got to be thinking about this question. So I'm going to get right into it. But before I get into it, man, let's do some housekeeping here, man. Um, if you guys have not yet gone over to my website, LieutenantSoundBlue.com, you can get a super, super, super discount on um, my book, which is free. That's right. Can't get no more super than that. And I'm giving away 10,000 autographed copies. So hop on over to LieutenantSoundBlue.com. Order your copy today. That's L-T-S-A-L-B-L-U-E.com. Pick up your copy today at Top 25 Mistakes, um, second edition. And you will get tons of bonuses with that. Tons of bonuses. So hop on over there, man. Get it started for the new year 2022. Making it happen, all right? So let's get started with today's podcast, man. Um, today's podcast is very interesting. It is very interesting because a lot of people, okay, um, they talk about achieving greatness. They talk about becoming great. They talk about having more money, having more time with their family, having a better job, doing tons of things, and they never get it done. And so I want to know why they don't get it done. And in thinking about it, I came up with today's question for my podcast, man. And that question is, why are you so in love with your bad habits? That's right, man. Why are you so in love with your bad habits? Is my question for today. And you got to think about this. You got to think about the question that I just asked you. Why are you so low in love with your bad habits? Now, as I thought about this question in today's podcast, I began to think even more deeply on how our failure to remedy our bad habits affects our lives in so many ways, man. Um, when we don't remedy our bad habits, it affects us each and every day, every hour, every minute. Everything we do is a direct reflection of our bad habits, man. So um, one thing, one thing that you will learn as you listen to my daily conversations that I like to call in my podcast on hot topics, whatever's hot going on, right, is that I'm far from perfect. So as I talk about my daily podcast, I'm far from perfect. And so some of these mistakes, man, that I talk to you guys about, I am still constantly trying to remedy these mistakes in my life. So, so when I come at you and I'm talking to you about my podcast, it is heartfelt. It is heartfelt with my emotions and my feelings. I am all in, guys. I am in. So when I'm trying to get you guys from eliminating these mistakes and bad habits from your life, sometimes I'm trying to eliminate them from my life. Or maybe I just recently eliminated them from my life. And so while it's fresh in my head, I want to give you guys the answers. I want to give you guys the answers so that you can get out there and you can have a better life sooner than I did. And that is so important to me, man. That is so important to me. Uh, so um, now that we've gotten our egos out of the way, right? You know, your ego, my ego, knowing that we all make this type of mistake, right? Um, I need you to understand this. Right, and this is very, very important. Failing to eliminate things that inhibit your effectiveness and your performance is the fastest way to head down that path I like to call the bad life. You are going to head down that path quickly, right? Because you need in life to achieve things that you want, obviously. You need to be highly effective, right? And you need to perform at your best levels, right? And so if you're doing things to, to, to tamper that down, to, to stop yourself from doing that, then 
You're choosing to go down the path of the bad life. You're choosing to have a bad life. So, so choose wisely, guys. Choose wisely when it comes to um, understanding what I'm talking about when it comes to a bad life. Now, by the way, guys, this is not me making some type of prediction that that you're going to have a bad life. This is already a foregone conclusion that if you do not change your bad habits, you're going to have a bad life. Period. One plus one equals bad life. Understand that as I talk about it, guys. Now, I want you to think about this for a minute. Now, I'm sure that all of you out there have a, a list of your goals that you want to achieve in the next year or so, right? Um, especially coming up on New Year's, it's usually called the resolution, right? Everybody has their New Year's resolution. So you have your list of things that you want to achieve in the next year or so, right? And, and for my ambitious people, right, for my ambitious people, uh, some of you um, actually have some form of a plan to actually achieve those goals, right? So, so not only um, are you a little bit better as far as the, the wolf pack of people who just go with the New Year's resolution and that's it. No, you ambitious people, you guys have a plan on what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it in your life. And, and I'm excited for you about that, guys. And so, as with that plan, so, so if this is the case, right, if this is the case, you have a plan, you have a list of goals that you want to achieve, and most people do, as I said, um, for the majority of ambitious people, why are very few people out there actually achieving the goals that they set out to achieve? Why is there very few people actually reaching their goals, right? How many times, and I say this over and over again, right? Um, how many times have you set up goals for the year and all of a sudden the end of the year is coming up and you realize that you did not achieve your goals? And, and I'll ask you a couple of questions to see if I can get your mind going in this so we can get all in the same direction, right? Um, because... Um, is it because of your lack of ambition? Right? Do you have a lack of ambition in order to achieve your goal? Um, I'm, I'm going to say probably not because I've seen um, countless, countless people in January, right? Um, they're going to the gym, they're flooding the gyms in January with tons of ambition you know, to get that six pack, to lose that weight, to get in the best health of their life. This is the year of the workout. You know, I'm doing mine, Snapchat and TikTok and showing pictures. Um, all in January at the gym, the year of the comeback, everything else, right? But in February, they go from five Snapchats a day to none. Because they're not at the gym anymore, man. <laughs> they're, not at the, they're gone. That all that ambition faded by February. So it's not the ambition because that ambition was there in January. Okay? It is the obstacles that got in the way that caused them to stumble by February. So it's not the ambition, right? So we already covered that. Now, is it because of lack of plan? Right? I told you, it's, it's tons of you ambitious people out there that have a plan in order to achieve your goals. So, so is it the lack of a plan? And, and, and see, I think, um, well, I don't think that um, having a plan is the problem because I've watched some people, right, um, with the most best written plans, right? The phenomenal plans written down and have all of the, you know, um, uh, somebody, uh, achieving autonomy is like a book and it has everything that you need to do each and every hour of the day. And I've had people who have that all mapped out and they're ripping through their plans, right? So they have the most excellent plans and, uh, and then all of a sudden they stumble at the first sign of an obstacle. And all of a sudden, that, that well-written, planned out, 
you know, thing that they have for themselves, it doesn't work out and they don't achieve their goals. So if it's not ambition and it's not lack of a plan, right, then, then what is it? What is it? As I think about it, man. So I gave this some intense thought, right? I gave this some intense thought and I began to think about all of the goals that I set in my life, right? So I had to take it in, introspective and I began to think about all the goals I set in my life and all the goals that I did not achieve that I set in my life. So not just the fact that I didn't um, have goals set up in my life, I began to intensely think about all the goals I didn't achieve and tried to figure out why, right? So um, I can answer um, that question as I gave it intense thought in one word. In one word, I can answer why I didn't achieve all of the things that I wanted to achieve in my life. And that one word is habits. That's right, guys. Your habits, right? Um, habits are amazing. Okay, habits are amazing because there's something that you do without thinking about them, right? Our habits dictate our daily actions, our daily actions, right? And our daily actions determine how our life is going to turn out. So, so in a nutshell, right? Change your habits, change your life. Period. Change your habits, change your life. So, if you, and I'll give you an example, guys, of habits, right? If you eat poorly every day, right? Because out of habit, every time you are bored, you like to snack, right? Um, then your habits will lead to actions that will cause you to have poor health, okay? And, and so that is one way of how our habits can alter our life in a shape, form, or fashion. I mean, another example of that, right, is, and this, I had this issue at a lot of, when I was younger, right? Um, if you have no money in your bank account, right, and I don't know how many of you agree with me on this one, but if you have no money in your bank account, but you have credit cards in your wallet, right, and you see something that you really, really want, right? You really want this time. You truly, truly want it, right? And you buy it. And you buy it, right? I, I, well, obviously that's uh, something that you shouldn't do, but some of you may believe that that is okay, right? Now, this is not something that the average adult knows that they shouldn't do, right you shouldn't be buying something if you have no money in your bank account and credit cards in your wallet right so you shouldn't do it but it is the habit that you have it is the habit that you have of, of associating pain right with uh not getting what you want when you want it okay so you see something that you want and because you can't have it when you want it because out of habit, you don't believe in delayed gratification, okay, um, you go out and you buy it anyway, despite the fact that you don't have the money in your bank account to pay for it, okay. Um, I used to be haunted constantly, guys, um, by failing at my goals until I heard my mentor say something to me, right. Um, he said something to me, and he said it to me many times over in the past, right? But it wasn't until I was at the utmost pain, okay, right? Because sometimes you really, really have to feel pain in order to listen to somebody, in order for somebody to get through to you. And so um, what he said to me was, he said, change your habits and you'll change your life, right? Change your habits and you'll change your life. And so he added to that and he told me to end your relationship with your current habits. End your relationship with your current habits. And 
when he said that to me, it, it really hit me emotionally because believe it or not, um, I was spiraling out of control financially and, and could not figure out why it was happening like this in my life. What was going on, right? Why was I getting so emotional to the point of where I was overextending myself financially. Why was I doing that? I was making plenty of money to live comfortably, but I wanted to be even more, right? Get tons of things that I did not want, tons of clothes that are still in my closet, you know, tons of vehicles and, and, and things that rushed, rotted, and depreciated. Nothing that I brought was an asset, guys. Nothing that I brought was an asset, and all of it was brought out of an emotion right and it was all out of habit the pain of not having something okay not learning and understanding delayed gratification and so because i didn't learn that i began the poor habit of spending money that i did not have and that is a painful habit that i've seen far too many people go down that route and so i'm trying to talk you guys out of that right now if that is you is there's nothing at the end of that tunnel okay but pain and heartache so do not go down that route man it took me some time to climb out of that and change my entire perspective on my spending and on my assets and having my assets buy things that i wanted as opposed to using credit to buy things that i want okay so totally complete different understanding of money now and I, and I am on the right path. But, you know, at that point in my life, at that point in my life, um, as I said, I probably heard him say uh, this hundreds of times before. But it was this day that I finally heard, them, heard him. Um, and I realized I was in love with my habits. I was in love with my habits. And even though those habits brought me tons of pain and heartache, um, they were my habits. They were, they were me. I, you know, um, my ego was like, this is you. This is who you are, right? You know, you like to show off. You like to do these things. My ego had totally engulfed me in loving this habit. It was a very, very toxic relationship. And I know you guys heard that word before. It was a toxic, toxic and very bad relationship to be involved in. So I literally had to break away as if it was an abusive relationship because I was literally abusing myself through my bad habits. I knew that these habits were wrong, right? And I still engaged in those bad habits, which then caused me to have a bad life, right? Which then in turn, right, I felt bad for myself and hurt, right? And, and, and the cycle kept repeating itself until I learn how to break up with my bad habits. And that is what you guys are going to have to do. You're going to have to break up with your bad habits, guys. Now, in this abusive relationship, right, it was an abusive relationship, obviously, of my own making. I created this relationship. There was nobody outside of me causing me this type of pain and grief and heartache. No. This was something, all something that I caused by myself right my habits created an action and once that action began moving okay it added more bad habits to that action to keep it going all right so a lot of times our habits are something of our own making it's not somebody that influenced us to do it it is just something that we are doing and it is bad for us right so that is a uh, that is something that you guys are going to have to begin to get through when it comes to changing your habits. Now, this is what I did, guys. So, once I finally heard my mentor and began my process of ending this relationship with my habits, I had to pretty much figure out what habits I had. What was I doing? So I listed out everything that I did from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to bed. And I did it for seven days, right? For seven days, every single day, didn't matter what I did. 
I, I, I wrote down that I woke up and I laid in the bed for five minutes before getting out of bed. I got out of bed and I went to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, okay, and didn't make the bed, okay. Um, I, uh, I sat down to prepare my meal to get ready to go to work and I looked at my phone. You know, and I went straight to social media. I laid in the bed and I went to social media. You know, at the end of the day, when I was done with work, I act as if I was extremely exhausted and tired. And so I spent time watching Netflix and relaxing, you know, call myself winding down. Right. So all of these were bad habits that were stopping me from achieving the life that I wanted. You know, um, some of the other bad habits were obviously my spending habits and things that I had. Okay, another bad habit was the people that I was around. I was hanging around the wrong people. Okay, and as I told you guys over and over again, your environment is your destiny. Okay, so I was hanging around a bunch of people who had the desire and need, okay, to show off with 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 things that they did not need with people, okay, who did not give a damn about them, okay? So, so I got from around those people and got around a different group of people, which obviously changed my entire outlook on, on the money I was spending. And, and all of a sudden I realized how foolish it was with those habits that I was doing. So from that point on, what I did was I began to implement a what I called for myself a legal divorce from my bad habits. That's right, I had a legal divorce from my bad habits. Yeah, you can steal it and implement it if you want, guys. Um, uh, I wrote out a contract and I signed that contract, right? And on that contract, I listed all of my bad habits that I had, right? Every single bad habit that I had and I vowed to myself to never go back to these habits, right? It was like me signing divorce papers from my bad habits, right? And I wrote out that contract, and what I did with that contract is I read that contract every single day. And, and, and every single day, I went through the list of my bad habits. I read them out there for me to see. So I wrote out the contract, I listed all of my bad habits, and I read my bad habits out loud. What was I doing? How was I doing it? When was I doing it? What was I doing? How was I doing it? And when was I doing it? And wrote them out each and every day so I did not backslide on my bad habits. Now still to this day, I still have that contract on a little piece of paper and, and I, I kind of, I, sometimes I keep it in my wallet. I don't have it on me right now. It's upstairs. Um, in my um, bathroom sink, so I have a lot of things in my bathroom sink, and I basically pull it out when I'm brushing my teeth, and I read it. I read uh, my contract, okay, of my bad habits, and I also read my self-confidence formula. So two things that I read while I'm brushing my teeth in the morning. Uh, that's called multitasking for me, right? Um, but anyway, guys, as I began to read those things uh, and take the divorce from my bad habits, um, it changed my life. It changed my life significantly, right? Because what I did was, I didn't just eliminate those bad habits, right? Because um, all of you who know, who've ever tried to eliminate bad habits, um, it leaves a void, right? It leaves an emotional void sometimes, right? And, and it leaves a mental void uh, of what you used to do at that time. And so what I did was, I replace those bad habits with things, right? So um, a couple of things that I do as far as my morning routine is concerned, I get up in the morning. I get up in the morning and I journal. I journal instead of uh, instead of laying in the bed. I journal and, and I get all my thoughts out on paper, whatever I dream about, whatever I'm thinking about, whatever's on my mind, I get that out on paper every day, okay? Um, I, uh, I do some yoga and some stretching, you know, to get physically moved. I hop on my spin bike, get a sweat going, right? I do all of that. None of the time do I, I even look at my phone or social media or anything. That is not no longer part of my daily habits, 
okay? Uh, when it comes to um, money and credit, I do not spend credit on anything that is not an asset, period. No gifts on credit, no, 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 nothing on credit. If it's an asset and it helps me make money, I'll, I'll um, extend my credit. If it does not, then that is it. If I don't have the cash, I don't buy it. Okay, and and so um, that forces you to go into delayed gratification a lot of times, man. Because uh, if you are not making a lot of money, right, or the money you are making, you have you have it put away in investments so the investments can build up, and you can use those investments to buy things. Then you're gonna have to wait, man. You're gonna have to wait. So you either make a whole lot of money faster, or you just have very few things. That's what you do. But that is called delayed gratification. And listen, at some point in time in your life, you got to mature to that point where you don't go out there and just spend your money on just anything that you want, man. So that was the contract that I had on my, with myself. And I decided not to go back on them by reading to myself that contract every single day. And that has helped me dramatically. Hopefully... Um, that could be a solution for a lot of you guys who have bad habits, right? Um, the one thing that you have to realize is if you do not write down your bad habits, you'll never change them. If you don't put them on paper in front of you for you to see, um, you never ever, okay, implement a change to make it better or replace those bad habits. You just won't do it, right? Because it's so easy for you and your brain Okay, to say, oh, these are bad habits. Oh, I won't do them tomorrow. But your brain has a way of doing the same routine every day. And all of a sudden, you'll find yourself falling right back into that bad habit. So write down those bad habits on paper. Put them in front of you. Uh, write up a contract for yourself. Okay, five minutes. Right, write up a contract for yourself. And just vow not to do those bad habits again. And just keep those bad habits in front of your face so that you know. You know, don't cross at a red light. Don't do it. Okay? Simple. Okay? You pretty soon it'll become habit. Your new habits will take over and fall into place where those old habits was. Um, now, because of this contract, I began in my life increased productivity on so many things that I do. For years I wanted to write a book, right? I wrote my book, Top 25 Mistakes. I did that. Right, I wrote two books so far, um, and several more on the way. Um, I started my own business. I started a I started a coaching course. Right, um, I started an online course. Uh, tons of things that added to my productivity that I wanted to do, but I did not do because of bad habits. And those bad habits were delaying, okay, all of my progress, and and it was dulling my effectiveness so um that contract pretty much changed my life guys so as i replaced my bad habits with my good ones um my life just began to move forward and i benefited tremendously man so um that's it for today um when it comes to habits man you guys have to make it a point of changing your habits so um, make sure you guys go on over to my website lieutenantsoundblue.com got tons of great advice just like this on this podcast in my book top 25 mistakes in route to the good life I'm giving away 10,000 copies for free okay there'll be autographed copies that you guys are going to be getting from me at my website lieutenantsoundblue.com if you buy them on um, on Amazon, it's $19.95. You don't get all the bonuses um, that I offer on my website, and, and also you don't get a um, you don't get an autograph copy. So uh, hop on over to the website, pick up your autograph copy today, and uh, and make sure that you guys hit me up on all the social media platforms: Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter blogger reddit and of course youtube youtube okay in the dms let me know what topics you'd like me to talk about on tomorrow's podcast if i choose one of your topics 
I'm sending out a little bonus, bonus to whoever's topics I choose on my daily podcast, all right? So this is Lieutenant Sal Blue. I am wrapping it up for today, man. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. Be good. Deuces.